Hi, welcome to this week's all-in-one tip video for CAD users and CAD managers, sponsored by the HPZ1 Workstation and presented by Catalyst. My name is Kurt Marino. I'm a CAD manager and blogger for the Kung Fu Drafter, and this week we've got tips for AutoCAD users, Autodesk Inventor users, and a career tip that I think we can all use. So let's get right to it. Layers from external references will appear in the AutoCAD Layer Manager, prefaced by the file name by default. This can interrupt the list of layers that are live in your current drawing. To group our external reference layers together in the Layer Manager, we change the reference name in the External Reference palette. Select the XREF you want to rename. Now place your cursor in the Reference Name field and give it a new, shorter name. We like to rename our XREFs to XREF dash and add a two letter descriptor. This will push all of your externally referenced layers to the bottom of your layer manager and probably give those layers a shorter name also. Our next tip is for Autodesk Inventor users and is applied to us by Paul Munford at the CAD Center Out blog. Autodesk Inventor has some great productivity tools for working in the assembly environment, but these tools are tucked away in a drop down menu. If you find yourself clicking on this drop down menu frequently, then you may find this tip helpful. To see all of the assembly productivity tools in the ribbon panel, simply right click on the panel and choose Ungroup from drop down menu. Now you have all of the tools you need at hand when you need them. Should you ever want to put things back the way they were, just right click anywhere on the panel and choose Group Commands in drop down menu. For more great Autodesk Inventor tips, be sure to visit Paul at www.catsetterout.com. Before we get to our last tip, we'd like to take a moment to thank our sponsor. This week's All-in-One tip is sponsored by the new HP Z1, the world's first all-in-one 27-inch workstation. The HP Z1's revolutionary design incorporates all system components within a 27-inch display that opens to let you swap parts and make upgrades without the need for tools. Visit hp.com backslash Z1 for more information on the all-new Z1. Our final tip this week is to remind you about your resume. First and foremost, store your resume in a location that you can remember and have access to even if you suddenly lose your job or your thumb drive. Second, update your resume regularly. It only takes a few minutes. We suggest looking at your resume once a quarter to update your title, supervisor, responsibilities, skills and training, and achievements. An out-of-date resume is better than no resume, but remember that an up-to-date resume is priceless when you need it most. Thanks for watching this week's Catalyst All-in-One Tip video, and thanks again to our sponsor, the HPZ1 Workstation.